Hey guys, welcome back to Ben's Hawk Sports. So we are about a month into the NBA season, and although it's still a small sample size, we now have a rough idea on how our favorite teams and players are playing right now. And with every new season, there are of course some surprises and disappointments. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at 5 players that are surprising everyone this season. But before we start though, please smash that like button as it really helps out the channel. So without further ado, let's begin. Starting off the list of number 5, Lugens Dort. For some newer NBA fans, Lou might not be a familiar name just yet, but there's no denying that he is surprising everyone with his play on the court this season. Now, Lou was an undrafted rookie out of Arizona State last season and was an average role player coming off the bench for the Thunder and put up stats of 6.8 points, 2.3 rebounds, and 0.8 assists per game. But he would start to make a name for himself last postseason where he showed that he is an amazing defender as he had the assignment to defend one of the best scorers in league history in James Harden and actually did a pretty good job. But the main criticism about his play last season was that he was an inefficient 3 point shooter as he shot less than 30% in the regular season and just 26% in the playoffs. So teams would breathe a sigh of relief whenever Lou would take a 3. But this season, that's not the case anymore as he is turning into an elite 3 and D player now, improving his already good defense while simultaneously improving his shooting as well. Now, currently through 11 games, he is averaging 12.1 points, 3.5 rebounds while shooting nearly 46% from the field and a highly impressive 44.4% from 3. Now, although I don't think he can quite sustain 44% for the whole season, I can see him being an above average shooter, someone defenses can't leave him unguarded anymore. Number 4, Colin Sexton and Darius Garland. Now, first of all, I am kind of cheating here for putting two players in number 4 instead of one, but I don't think it's right to leave either one of them off. So starting with Colin Sexton, he was drafted in the season that LeBron decided to take his talents to LA and on draft night he had this pretty funny interview where he tried to pitch LeBron to stay in Cleveland. With you. Man LeBron, let's do it, let's do it. I see you need a few pieces, that one extra piece this past season, hey let's do it, uh, let's go back to the finals, let's do it. Alright LeBron, the young bull has called you out, he wants you to stay with him in Cleveland. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank Which obviously didn't work. So after LeBron left, let's be honest here, nobody really cared about the Cavs anymore. So Sexton has become one of the most underrated players in my opinion, as he is currently averaging about 25 points, 2 rebounds and 3 assists while being insanely efficient, shooting 53% from the field and 51% from 3. Now the other half of Sexland, which is one of the best backcourt names ever, Darius Garland has been surprisingly good as well, now being the go-to second option, averaging 17.2 points, 3.3 rebounds, and 6.3 assists, while also being a consistent shooter this season. Now, Even though there was a lot of backlash when the Cavs drafted Darius Garland because they would have a small backcourt and no real facilitator they're actually turning out to be better than everyone expected. And a few years down the line, maybe they might be the next Damon CJ. Plus, they just acquired Jared Allen as well, who fits right into their timeline. So maybe the Cavs can sneak into the playoffs somehow. Number 3, Christian Wood. So I'm not going to go too in depth on Christian Wood because I made an entirely separate video about him which you guys should definitely check it out but I'm just going to add on to what I said in that video. Firstly, I didn't mention in that video but I think Wood is probably going to be this year's most improved player. Although it hasn't even been 20 games yet, Wood is playing extremely well beside Wall and Harden. And with James Harden being traded just a few days ago, Wood is going to get even more touches now. He is currently averaging about 23 points, 10 rebounds, and 2 blocks. And unlike the other players on this list, I do think that he can sustain his production throughout the season. 
but I think by the end of the season, he will be an even better player than he is now, and hopefully still make Houston a playoff team. Number 2. DeMontis Sabonis even though Sabonis was an all-star last season, I still think that he is criminally underrated and is someone that doesn't really get talked about enough. Ever since he was traded to Indiana in that Paul George deal, he has been amazing for them and has steadily worked himself from an above average role player to now being the best player on the Indiana Pacers. Plus, the Pacers are currently the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference this season, which is actually kind of surprising. And it's mainly because of the playoffs of bonus, as he is putting up averages of 21.8 points, 12.5 rebounds, and 5.6 assists per game on pretty good shooting splits. And Sabonis is kind of part of that new breed of big men, you know, big men like, like Jokic that can not only play inside, but also facilitate for his teammates as well. So hopefully he gets awarded with another all-star selection this season. Now before we get to the number one spot, here are some honorable mentions that just missed the cut. And those players are Josh Jackson, Jalen Brown, CJ McCollum, Jeremy Grant, and Markel Fultz. Finally at number one, Julius Randle. Now before the season started, I didn't think that I would be talking about Julius Randle. But 12 games in, and Randall is looking pretty damn good, and has kept the Knicks sort of competitive. They did have a better record than the Nets, but after losing 4 straight, that's no longer the case anymore. But let's just talk about Julius Randall here. He is averaging a near triple-double with 22.8 points, 10.8 rebounds, and 6.8 assists on 50% shooting from the field. And it's looking even better than his Pelicans days. Because if you guys don't remember his lone season with the Pelicans, he was actually really good. Then he kind of fell off, but it looks like he is stepping up again this season. And with some injured players that will hopefully be back on the court soon, maybe, just maybe, we can see the Knicks in the playoffs this season. But don't get your hopes up too high though. So that's my list of 5 players that are surprising all of us this season. And let me know in the comments section, who do you think is having the most surprising season? And did you think I left any players off this list? So with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching this video. We are aiming for 1,000 subscribers in 2021. So if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications as I upload new videos every single week. And thanks for watching.